I'm here at the Soft Hotel in London's Trafalgar Square, and I'm having tea in this very smart hotel with a very interesting man, and his name is Phil Anderson. But Phil, tell me exactly, what is it that you do? Yeah, hi Valentine. I teach people how to remember the future. How do you do that? Well, yes, that's a good question. I'm actually, uh, we, here at Economic Indicator Services, we study cycles, economic cycles. And the one that's most prominent, the one, the best one to know, is the real estate cycle. And so I show people through the website and through what we do, how the real estate cycle pretty much repeats about every 18 to 20 years. And uh, I've done a clock on that, which is on the website, which explains how it goes through in um, eight, roughly 18 to 20 year cycles. You have 14 years of up, four years of down, and generally since about 1800, things have repeated pretty much like clockwork. But if anybody else had uh, got on to this, which they should have done many years ago, uh, people wouldn't have lost fortunes in property. Well, yes, now people have seen the, uh, the benefits of some of this knowledge. I tried to explain this in 2006 and 2007 to people, but uh, well, not a lot of people were listening because the prevailing attitude was that real estate prices go up forever. As most people around the world have seen now, they actually don't. And there is a cycle. And now that we're approaching the bottom, I try to tell people that it's a great time now to be investing. The trouble is nobody's got any money, or if they have got money, they need a loan, and I can't get a loan. And uh, that's the cycle. And, uh, so you've got to try and be a little bit counter-cyclical and prepare for it at the top so that you're cashed up at the bottom. But you've written a book about this, haven't you? I have written a book. The book's called The Secret Life of Real Estate and Banking. Uh, this is also, you can see this around the site uh, various times. Uh, it's been, uh, I've had some interesting feedback on the book. It's been most gratifying, really. People who've read the book have been bothered enough to write back and say how profoundly interesting that they found it and uh, how useful. It's, uh, it's good. It's been fantastic. It would be an amazing textbook to be issued to schools, wouldn't well, it? Well, yes, it should be. The trouble is the book does question the, uh, the uh, economics profession, in a sense, because the, the academics and uh, many professionals, they, they don't uh, think that, uh, that the... They don't, even quest, they don't even acknowledge the existence of a cycle, really. And even when they do, they're not prepared to accept that the cycle is actually uh, um, uh, working and can be described, let alone uh, forecast. So but it would be good for them to show. You, you haven't had any positive feedback from the economists? Oh, no, I have. They, 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 do, they are looking at it. I've had feedback from various sorts of people, but um, generally, academics and people like that are taught that that uh, the world and the stock market and real estate is random and that's the prevailing belief and it's very hard to step over that at times. And people tend to believe in luck. Yes, they do, they believe in luck, but generally as I try to show on the website and, and through the book, um, once you get to the causal nature of the real estate cycle and the causal nature of, nature of behaviour, if you take a certain type of behaviour and, and uh, you, you watch that manifest, if you can see the cause behind it, it's very easy to forecast the result. And your book is called again? The Secret Life of Real Estate and Banking. Sounds to me like everybody, particularly those in banking and real estate, should read it. Thanks, Phil.